alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. You know how much I love strong tasting food, but Vietnamese boko is something else. Do make sure you get a license from the International Atomic Energy Authority before you start this recipe, okay? I hope I can survive the fumes long enough to tell you that I've got 500 grams of beef cut up into bite-sized pieces, three chopped shallots, one small onion that I've halved and then cut into very thin slices, some soya sauce, some nuoc mam sauce, which is a fish sauce, a bunch of basil, fresh basil, two red chilies that I've chopped into pieces, three cloves of garlic. Here I've got a tablespoon of ready prepared lemongrass. It's better if you can get fresh lemongrass and if you can use two stalks, bruise them and chop them. One tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of brown sugar, four star anise and a beef stock cube. <coughs> First thing I have to do is dry roast the star anise in a small pan over a high heat for about five minutes. Then when cool, grind them in a coffee grinder. Super! With the beef in a large bowl, add the turmeric and mix. Put it to one side for about half an hour. In the pan I've got two tablespoons of sesame oil. If you can't get sesame oil, just ordinary vegetable oil is fine. Add in the shallots, the garlic, the lemongrass and the chilies. And stir these around for a couple of minutes. Now add in the curry powder, most but not all of the ground star anise, keep a little bit back, and the beef. Once the beef is brown, add in 700 ml of beef stock. 3 tablespoons of nuoc mam sauce, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce and the sugar. Bring it back to the boil, turn the heat right down and let it simmer gently for 45 minutes. In fact, I ended up cooking this for an hour and a half because the beef wasn't quite tender enough. But you can see it's gone to a beautiful thick gravy. Now I'm going to add in the basil. And the remaining star anise. Mix it all together. And transfer to a serving bowl. Garnish with thinly sliced onions and serve with sticky rice or a baguette. Well, that all seemed to pass off without incident. Boko is a really intensely flavoured dish. I'm just going to sneak a little bite. Mm. 